Hello, hello everybody. This is USA Bruce here with a guide to show you how to install mods on the Steam release of Command Conquer Generals and Command Conquer Generals Zero Hour. We'll also include a part about playing multiplayer online. Now, first of all, be sure that you have the game purchased and installed on Steam. The next part is we're going to right click, manage, browse local files and open the directory of our installation. Then we're going to go to this link, which I will be putting down in the comments or in the pinned message, and we'll be downloading this gen launcher RAR file. This zip file, sorry. Now we're going to quickly get uh, the file and drag it into our directory. Now, if you need to open this file and can't, you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now, we're going to double click and uh, we're going to let Gen launch boot up for the first time. And here we go. You can launch Command and Conquer Generals normally or install any mod you wish, which is not a lot for normal generals. Remember that you can tinker with the options or play borderless window. That concludes the part for generals. We'll be doing something very similar for Zero Hour. Hello there, here we are again. Now we're going to learn how to install Gen Launcher on Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, which is the same as before. We're going to follow the exact same steps and we don't even need to download a new file. Here we go, let's right click and manage and then browse local files and open the directory of the game. And then we can download Gen Launcher. You should have it, but if you don't, then here is the link. It should be in the comments. Uh, it should be in the description. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna put it in the directory. Afterwards, I want you to uh, double click it and launch it. Now, after you did this, I should uh, take the time to mention that I did make more thorough and detailed guide on Gen Launcher which I will be linking below as well on how to use it properly and how to install mods, patches, and add-ons. Let's go ahead and download a mod just as a sample here. Download the first mod we can see. Let's select the mod and click install, and there we go. We can um, play this mod once it's ready. The best part is, I should uh, mention, is that when I deselect it, I can still play the normal game of Zero Hour, this does not create any problems for you to play Zero Hour online. As long as you don't have any mods selected, you should be fine. Before we continue, I'd like to uh, take a second to mention that if you have any other technical issues, you should definitely try to download Gen Patcher. This fixes a lot of common problems you can encounter with Generals or Zero Hour. I'll put a link down in the description as always, but after you downloaded it, be sure to unpack the RAR file and open it. Be careful about your antivirus. It usually gives a false positive. Uh, you should give it uh, permission to do what it wants or just turn off your antivirus while using this. After that, you can apply fixes, use additional content, enjoy some map packs from AODs to multiplayer maps, and uh, you can do much more than that. Thank you Legionnaire for creating this great tool. All right, now at the next part. Oh yeah, before I forget, there's actually a Steam Zero knowledge base on the Gen Launcher server started by Zeke. It goes over common issues, and should you need any further support, you can go ahead and ask there. Special thanks to Zeke for being awesome. I don't know what we'd do without you, buddy. Thanks again. Hello there, everybody. This part is how to play Command and Conquer Generals or how to play Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour online. Now, we're gonna be learning how to download and install Radmin. Almost all Command and Conquer Generals and Zero Hour mods use Radmin to connect to each other. So we're gonna quickly download it. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description. And afterwards, we're gonna install it into our computer. Now, here we go, Radmin is set up. The first thing you should do is definitely change the name you have on Radmin. Your default name will be your computer name, but to identify you much easier, it's important that you change your name there. Afterwards, you're gonna join or create a private network. 
We're going to be joining a private network for Riser Red that I'm hosting. However, there are other gaming networks or public networks for other mods or games. Password to this one is the same as the network name. So we're going to quickly join it. And here we go. We can see all the members present. And we can see our strength of the connection, the ping between the players from those uh, green bars. All right, now, after we uh, did that, we're gonna look at part two. Make sure that your Radmin is turned on. And then we're gonna launch our mod from Gen Launcher. We are going to launch the game, but before we do that, we need to make sure we have the right patches or add-ons to what we want to play. Here we're going to be playing the latest public build, and we're going to use the hum patch as an example. Make sure that you're on mod exe from the options, and it's important to have gentle installed as well. Next we're going to click and launch the game, but we're not done just yet. Verifying integrity doesn't really matter right now. Now, before we begin, we're going to go to our options. And then we're going to check our online and LAN IP. Now, if it's default, then it should have the 192 or your normal default IP. It's important that you make sure that the 26 or 25 IP, the one from Radmin, is the same as the one over there. Afterwards, you can go to multiplayer, network, and you can see any other player active. If they're not, be sure to ask on Discord or whatever other platform you're uh, contacting players from. Um, special thanks to Nick for doing this. Uh, thank you so much. I couldn't record it and he did it. Hello there. This is the last part that I really wasn't planning to do but I see that there can be some confusion due to the name. So I'm gonna take a quick second to talk about these three things. Gentool is a tool made by Xenon. It allows you to um, upload replays automatically with some screenshots. It has some anti-cheat features, and it also shows you the in-game time, your local time, and the frame rate, among other things. It's a must have for both playing Command Conquer Generals and Zero Hour, single player or multiplayer. The next thing we're going to talk about is Gen Patcher. Gen Patcher is made by Legionnaire. It's a wonderful tool that allows you to um, fix a lot of problems with a click of a button. It also has other tools for uh, playing online or downloading maps. It's one of those must haves that you should definitely consider getting. The last one is the whole point of this video, but it's Gen Launcher made by Dell or Paul Cell. Uh, I'm sorry, Paul Sir, sorry. And uh, it's a great tool that you basically install to download mods or to change other things like your game height. It's important. It's important that you have all three for yourself um, to maximize your enjoyment compatibility and customization of your game. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to catch you guys soon.